Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to another Riverside Talk. And you know how much I love this. Every single time something new and exciting happens at Riverside Theater, we have the opportunity, in many cases, to meet several of the members of the cast. Well, right now, as you know, the word around Vero Beach, around Indian River County, around the world, well, I do exaggerate a little bit, but <laughs> around all over the place is Greece. And that is what's on stage, of course, at Riverside Theater. On the main stage, however, we are sitting here on the second stage. That's the Wax Lax Theater. Uh, and, of course, are loving every minute of it. Of course, just to be here with two members of the cast of Grease, which incidentally closes on May the 4th. So if you haven't seen it, you need to get the tickets now and be here. But let me first of all welcome, and I want to say it's Brad Greer. Yes. And Brad Greer over there at the very end there doing a wonderful job, I understand, doing a lot of toe tapping. That's right, absolutely. All of us are tapping our toes, to say the least. Absolutely. <laughs> well, we're going to talk about you in just a moment, though, Brad, because I know everybody loves to know the backstory of each of the actors. And so when we have this fun of being able to really get to know you, this is what it's all about. So let me re welcome Richard Serrato. All right, <laughs> Richard Serrato. And he promises me that when he puts gel in his hair, he looks just like grease. Yeah, it goes very high. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, let's start with you, Richard, and really talk a little bit about your backstory and, and how, of course, you got involved in theater and oh. what do you love about it? Wow, you're asking the deep questions. Yes. Um, well, thanks. So, well, I'm from California. I'm from Laguna Beach, California. Oh. <laughs> Do you know that area? My mother was born there. No way. Oh, yes, a million years ago, but go ahead. Oh, I'm sure okay. that's not true. <gasps> I love Laguna. Well, I mean, I've never been there, but I understand it's beautiful. Oh, it's a very, well, it's sort of like Vero Beach. It's a uh, very sort of uh, homey yes. and, you know, coastal and uh, very chill atmosphere. And uh, yes, yeah, so I grew up in California and got into theater in high school. I was a soccer player for a while. Uh -huh. um, which my dad still sort of wants me to do, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but I got into theater in high school and uh, haven't looked back since. I then went to the University of the Arts in Philadelphia, where oh, I yes. met Brad, uh -huh. who is now my roommate in New York City. How wonderful! <laughs> Two greasers, right? That's right. <laughs> and uh, and uh, then. And then here I am. Uh, yeah. Do you know, this is so fabulous, though, because I think when we take that backstory and we hear so many people coming from the California area mm -hmm. and going into New York, was it difficult for you uh, to get into theater? Well, <laughs> I don't know if it was difficult. I think it was just sort of, uh, it sort of was a natural progression. Like, I, I went to school in Philly. I didn't know much about anything. Um, and they taught me very well at school and uh, then I booked my first gig um, right in my last semester of school so that sort of kind of jump-started where I went and from there it's been a pretty good progression of consistent work sure. and uh, it's That's been good to hear. it's rare but it feels good and uh, yeah I think I think we've all been pretty lucky and obviously lucky enough to book this gig that you brings bet. us to such a nice area. Well, do you know one of the reasons I ask this is because we have Riverside Children's Theater where we have so many children starting out in theater and then moving up into these bigger and better and wonderful, not better, but certainly exciting things. Right. And then when we talk with individuals like yourselves and to see where you started, it gives them all hope yeah. and a lot of encouragement too and to play in Greece. So Brad, let's talk a little bit about you. Sure. Now, where was your home? Uh, I grew up about 30 minutes south of Atlanta, Georgia, uh -oh. in a really small town, so just up the road here. Sure. I mean, I guess it's about 10 hours, but I've <laughs> been to Florida quite a few times in my life. Um, never Vero Beach. This is my first time in Vero, but um, grew up about 30 minutes south of a small town called Hampton, Georgia, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, and I, too, started theater in pretty much in uh, in high school. I did a couple community theater shows in middle school, um, grew up singing in church like most Southern sure. boys. Yes. Um, and then... Um, yeah, I got to high school, and that's where I really caught the the acting bug and mm -hmm. did a bunch of shows in, in high school and uh, eventually went to a summer program where I learned about University of the Arts, which is the, the university that Richard and I both attended in Philadelphia. And, um, you know, I met a representative from there, and just she told me all about the program, and um, I was sold. Uh, you know, I think it's so wonderful, and I guess what I really want to hear is who mm -hmm. would you say in your background really was the person who sent you on your way that really gave you that encouragement in theater? Well, I mean, my mother was a singer and a pianist as well, uh -huh. so she okay. always, you know, fostered that, um, you know, the love of, of music and, and things like that. But I have to say my high school drama teacher, her name was Gina Moore, um, she was just absolutely incredible and um, 
you know, just like sure. you, you mentioned the educational program here. And she just, you know, gave me so many wonderful opportunities to, to grow and figure out who I was as an actor. And, um, you know, when, even when I got to college, there were so many concepts and, you know, things that I learned that I had already heard of in, in high school, which isn't always the case. Um, you know, yeah. a lot of times they'll do one spring musical, but she really, you know, we did plays and all kinds of stuff. And it was really, sure. really an incredible do you know, this, is, this, I think, is what we love to hear. I think our che teachers, our, our students, our parents want to hear where all of this comes from. Yeah, And absolutely. how important it is to find out how much you really love the world of theater and then to end up in Greece right here at Riverside Theater. That has to be wonderful. And you are happy. I mean, you're wearing a shirt from Waldo's. I mean, you are <laughs> Vero Beach. He did that on purpose. I know. Vero I Beach. Waldo's. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, let's talk then a little bit more about, now here you are in Vero Beach, mm -hmm. and you're in a cast of how many on, with Greece? 19. I think there's about 19 or 20. Yeah, there's not, I think there's actually 10 women and 10 men, okay, to, be, yeah. to be exact. So I think there's 20, because right. in, in the finale, we all have a, a partner. So. Okay, sure. <laughs> so, okay, so you can double that number or something. Right, okay. exactly. But the idea <clears throat> that there's dancing, there's music, and it never really stops. That's we're going true. to take a little break in just a moment, and we're going to come back, and I want to learn a little bit more about the story of Greece. Okay. And the, really the, the background of what put it all together, because this has to be one of the most well-known, accepted, exciting yeah. musicals ever. Have you been, is your favorite uh, type of theater, music and dance? and? I mean, it definitely is is for me. I mean, musical theater is absolutely my my forte, sure. as it were. Um, I, you know, I love to sing, I love to dance, I love to act, and you know, it's all it all, all of that together. wrapped up in one. And it's sure. Yeah, what about you, what Richard? To do. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I I have to agree. I like a good contemporary musical. I like uh, sort of something that you can bop to and, yeah. and tap your toes to. Uh, I do respect a lot of the operettas and, and old school Rodgers and Hammerstein shows, but uh, I like Grease to the present, something that I can sort oh of jam boy. to. And yeah. Well, do you know what I want to do? I want to once again remind all of our, our viewers that Riverside Theater is presenting Grease. And yes, it is the word all around town. Everybody is talking about Greece, and it's on stage as we speak, running through May the 4th. And one of the most exciting things is that I want to tell you about is the fact that we are sitting not in, only in the Wax Lax Theater, but we're sitting in where we're, they do have the second stage, which is truly so intimate. But I did peek at the Greece stage. Wow! You all are really going to be toe tapping. Oh yeah. Yeah, the set is incredible. It is going to be it's, incredible. It's gonna. I was. I've been in the audience for a couple of the numbers I'm not in, and have been looking at it, and yeah. it looks ah, amazing. <laughs> it is just. But I have to say, it's so typical of Riverside Theater because yeah. this is the greatest. We're going to be show. back in just a moment. We're going to be continue and talk really about the story of Greece and what we can expect when we all sit out there in the audience in the Stark stage at Riverside Theater when Greece is in front of us. We'll be right back. Stay with us. <laughs> and welcome back, everyone, to another segment here on Riverside Talk. And as everybody knows, it's my favorite type of TV to sit here with actors, and in this case, actors from Greece that are actually performing as we speak on stage uh, in the Stark Theater. And of course, that's our main stage. But truly, this has to be one of the most exciting musicals for everyone. Let's do talk about it. Incidentally, it does run through May the 4th, and you want to get those tickets, and you want to do it right now. As a matter of fact, go to RiversideTheater.com, and you'll be able to pick up a ticket uh, right there. I saw how easy that is. Just get your tickets and pick out your seats, and you'll be right here on stage. <laughs> so let's do talk about the show itself, Greece. What's the, what's the story? Well, um, Greece first started in, I think, 1971 in Chicago, and uh, it, the writers wanted to write sort of a homage to the 1950s, and uh, so they based it, I think, uh, I think the main writer based it on his high school experience, and uh, they wanted to put all of the, the, the high school things that we all go through, um, love and rock and roll and first kiss and you know there's more dramatic elements in act two which I won't give away but um, <laughs> but uh, yeah there's all sorts of uh, you know it, it's very real and uh, I don't know. people yeah. can relate to it oh, can't totally. they? absolutely the story that a lot of people are familiar with is the the film version um, which I think was 78 mm -hmm. um, 
And so that's the story of really Danny and Sandy, who are like, you know, the, the people that everyone know. But I think the musical is, um, well, I, it definitely is more of an ensemble piece. And um, you get to know some of the other characters um, mm -hmm. a lot better. And, uh, and you know, it, it's a, so much more fun to sort of get a peek into to their lives. And uh, while Danny and Sandy are still, you know, the main typical love story of the, the, the piece, it's, uh, it's cool to see you know, more about sure. Kaniki and Rizzo and Duty and Frenchie and all of those. And listen to those names. Right. I mean, oh my <laughs> golly, yes. When you were growing up, though, mm -hmm. did you ever see Grease? Yes, I, I probably saw the movie, you know, 50 times when I was when I was growing up. I never had a chance to be in the show uh -huh. growing up. This is my first first time ever doing a production of Grease. Um, but, but I saw the movie many, many times. Sure. Grew up with the songs. You know, my parents saw the movie. It was, it was definitely the legacy of Greece. We live in a world today, though, where the kids are getting a different viewpoint of, of what goes on to grow up mm -hmm. and in the world. What do you think a young person, because I'm thinking Greece is something for everybody. Everyone mm -hmm. can come and see Greece at Riverside Theater. Uh, but who do you think it's talking to, it's speaking to? That's a great question. Um, I'll let you handle this one. Um, I mean, I, I agree that it is something for everyone. You know, it can. There are parts of it that's sort of a cautionary tale. Um, you know, I I think that it it speaks to older generations that sort of lived through that time, and you know, it's nostalgia and everything like that. Um, but also, it's it's for the younger generation to sort of see a picture of that time and many productions of Greece sort of can poke fun and mm -hmm. make it a parody and I think one thing that our production does really well is is refrain from from poking fun it's really paying homage and um, you know giving oh, you sort I of love, a glimpse. I love hearing you say that. Yeah it, it's it's really yeah. amazing Bruce our director has done it and Michelle our choreographer have done an incredible job of uh, really and paying putting, homage, it's putting the, best the way songs to put it. together and putting the, as you say, the choreography and yes. so on together, but still keeping that sameness, that wonderful that we saw yeah. and we the understood. The truth of it. Yes, the truth of Absolutely. it is right. So you feel the same way? Uh, I do. Uh, I'm just trying to think about when I first saw it, and you know, because we grew up in the '90s, mm -hmm. and uh, I remember when I first saw it, there was this girl I was sort of in love with in fifth grade. Her name was Elise Norman, and if you're watching this. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I but love it. she, um, I remember she wore these really cute braids. Anyway, so uh, I, thought you, I thought you were going to say earrings, but they no, were braids. No braids. Yeah, okay, she wore them okay. down like Dorothy. Anyway, um, but I was sort of in love with her, and we we had this talk one day, and she was like, "Oh, you've seen Greece," and I was like, "Oh no, I've never seen Greece. What is it?" And she was like, "Oh," and I'm thinking of the country, you know. Yeah. And uh, in fifth grade, maybe not. <laughs> but anyway, so she was like, "Oh, I'll let you borrow it." So she let me borrow her VHS, and I remember watching it, and the whole opening with uh, sort of like like animation the cartoon, in the, yeah, the cartoon in the beginning and uh -huh. um, and then it gets into that sort of but but it doesn't feel dated it really it feels right. like you know it's, it's sort of raunchy at some moments and it's really uh, I don't know I remember it really hitting me and being like oh this is cool like I want to be one of these cool greasers and right. now I am and now you are <laughs> and on stage at Riverside Theater that's right. what the exciting thing is too what part do you play I play duty he's um, the youngest of the main greasers uh, sort of naive boyish um, idolizes the other greasers. Um, yeah, it's a really it's a really cool role for me. Uh, a lot of the roles that I do, um, I think I, I I'm defined by the other the other friends of mine in, in shows usually, and I think this is such a friend show oh, yeah. that it's uh, it's really amazing to be friends with everybody in the cast, and uh, and then those sort of relationships in real life translate on stage, and I really care about these guys like. I'll probably be friends with them, hopefully forever. See, this is what I think theater does, especially here at Riverside Theater. We hear this so frequently from actors and actresses that come to the Vero Beach area. And I, I guess really when we, thought they, we, we talk about what it really means to you all to play in it, you're reaching out to all of us too, because I think we're going to sit out there and we're going to watch. We're going to get that feeling as well. Are there different, because you have, who's your director? He's called Bruce Lumpkin. Bruce Lumpkin, I've heard so much about him and I understand yeah. he's doing a fantastic job. Who designed your set? Oh. I answered the last one, it's your turn. <laughs> oh, Cliff. 
Oh, oh right. Cliff. Right. Yes, Cliff Simon. Oh, I almost oh how wonderful. Oh, dear. See, I Cliff. got him in trouble there. Now, you're, oh, you're going to have to pay for that. I know. I know. Yeah. But Sorry, I Cliff. Just... We love you, and it's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa's our costume designer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I did just peek at it, and I can tell you it is really going to be exciting. It yeah. is exciting. Yes. But now, all right, I want to just, because we only have about, a, about 30 seconds left, about a minute left on this particular segment. Okay. I want to find out when we come back. Of course, I always like to say what next for you all. Okay. But I want to find out from you what you hope when the whole show is over and we're out there, maybe at the break, maybe at the end, what you're hoping that audience is feeling and thinking about your part, not just your part, but the production of Grease. Is that too heavy? No, oh, not, not, not at all. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we're going to be back. No, we're going to be back. Yeah, we're going to take a little break. You're gonna, I'm going to give you some time to think about that. Thank right. you. We're talking about <laughs> Greece, and of course, it is on stage at Riverside Theater, and of course, runs right through May the 4th. You don't want to miss it. We'll be back in just a moment with Richard and Brad, and they're going to tell us kind of a little heavy answer to all of that. So <laughs> stay with us. We'll be right back. Well, welcome back, everyone, to our final segment here on Riverside Talk, and oh boy, the word is Greece. It's on stage at the Stark Theater at Riverside Theater, and we have two greasers. What is a greaser? A greaser, a greaser is a 1950s. Well, actually, there's still greasers nowadays. <laughs> it's uh, it's sort of a group of guys, a cult, uh, who will grease their hair, and uh, sometimes they're in a. It's a gang. Um, we're not much of a. <laughs> you are a good gang. gang. We're, 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 we're a cool, gang, yeah. okay gang. Um, but when I went to high school, there was a group called the Greasers, and they were they were pretty rough and tumble. Anyway, they were oh good, <laughs> and they're not watching. But they're anyway, 1950s leather jacket, you know, yeah. like uh, like Jimmy Dean. Like Jimmy exactly. Dean. Yeah, Just yeah. Just like Jimmy Dean. Oh boy. Well, this is so much fun. And what I said to you is, I wanted to ask you. That very important question, and if you are just tuning in, I'm speaking with two of the actors in performance of Grease on stage at Riverside Theater, and of course this is Richard, and that is Brad. They are two greasers. They dance, they sing. <laughs> they have a wonderful backstory. You'll have to watch the show over and over again to, to learn all about that. But I asked yeah. you as we went out on that last segment, when we walk out after the production of Grease, right here in Vero Beach, Florida, what do you hope? that we will take with us? What will we say? How will we feel? Well, um, you know, sort of earlier I mentioned that this isn't your typical production of Greece that might, po might poke fun at this particular period of time and things like that. And I hope everyone will leave and, um, you know, just take that with them and, and realize that these people were real people. Um, you know, uh, Jim Jacobs and Warren Casey wrote the piece sort of about their experience in high school in the 50s um, and, you know, just take it away. First of all, yeah. I want you to walk out with a smile on your face. Oh, good. Uh, oh, first good. and foremost. And you will. There's no, there's no question. Um, but, uh, you know, be able to walk out and, and think what a, you know, what a real group of people these people were. I want you to say the good old days. The good old days, absolutely. I graduated from high school in 1956, so you're really wow. touching me. Oh, wow. You know, so this is so wow. exciting to know yeah. that these, and the music. Now, what about you, Richard? What do you well, think about Well, first of all, it? you look great for having oh. graduated. <laughs> it's only because I, because I have no hair. You look very foxy. Um, <laughs> and you look greasy. No, you don't. Oh, greasy? <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Well, um, I guess, I don't know. I, I want everyone to, uh, well, I hope everyone in general has a good time, and in life, I hope they have a good time. So, Absolutely. Um, but I, I think that this is a pretty, pretty chill show, and uh, I don't think I know the last show that was done here on the stage um, was Les Miserables. Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> so this is sort of a departure from that, I think. And, but it's a great uh, combination, isn't absolutely. it, to have two shows like that? Yeah. That's a big, big time. That's a really, that's a really cool season to see something. Yeah. Just very, very different. In a little um, town. In a little right. town, right? But uh, but I think Greece is uh, very honest and it's emotional for me on stage. Mm -hmm. Like every moment matters and counts and I think that's what we're all playing is will it, friendship. Will it take us back, those of us who did graduate in 1956, will it take us back to memories? Sure. Absolutely. I think um, I think the, the music is so well done. What are some of the 
the great songs? Well, the most songs that everybody know is is, is a hand jive is a pretty big song, and summer nights, oh, uh, summer yeah. loving, uh, is a big one. Hopelessly devoted to you. Uh, uh, my favorite song in the show is my song in the show, which is those magic changes, which I think oh, yes. paints a really. Uh, cool portrait of first love and and the love of rock and roll because that because that's when rock and roll oh, first yes, started happening absolutely. with elvis and buddy holly and and i think um for for me that song oh i'm in it <laughs> that song is my favorite it's just um i think it really it, it, it captures the whole the whole time of high school and i remember my high school my first love my first I remember the first mix CD I ever got was filled with some old, um, old 1950s to 1970s old school rock. That and was good. It was music really moving. Then, oh, it was it? so moving. Yeah, 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 yeah. And really strikes a chord. Like, I, like you know, in my song, there's only four chords. Um, but I think it's amazing that even though there's only four chords in the in the in, in yeah down below that on top, it's it's painting a whole. Uh, I don't know, portrait of, of something real, and, and I don't know, I think it's uh, a cool show. Do you know show. what I love? <laughs> I just love, as a, as a mother of three and hundreds of grandchildren and great-grandchildren, <laughs> I can tell you, <laughs> you know, eight grandchildren. That's impressive. They're gonna look at you, and they're gonna see this, and they're gonna understand why it's so important to appreciate every single part of their life. Yeah. And I guess this is what we're going to be uh, watching too on stage through May the 4th, Riverside Theater, Greece, the word around town. But we have to ask you, Yes. and I always do this, <laughs> what's next? We, you've performed <laughs> here at this magnificent theater. What's next yes. for you, Brad? Well, um, you know, the life of an actor is very um, unsure. You never really know what's next. I mean, I can tell you what I hope is going to be next. Uh -huh. um, you know, a lot of us who are actors end up doing a lot of things to pay the bills in between gigs. You know, going back, to, I'm live in New York now with Richard, and we mentioned that earlier. We're roommates in New York as well. Um, so I'll go back and, and cater and audition and hopefully book the next big thing. I mean, I'd love to uh, come back and work at Riverside Theater again. <laughs> I hear that, I hear that so often, uh, but I'm we'd sure love to do. have you back here too. What about you? Well, um, well right after this, we go do Grease uh, at the Walnut Street Theater in oh, Philadelphia. This is a oh. co-production. So so oh. we move this whole set, this whole costumes, all of us, yes. we go to Philadelphia for, I think, about two and a half months. Well, now, is this the first time, though, that you've worked with the cast here? In, did, you, did you start here in Europe? Yeah, we started here. This is okay. our first stop, and our, so and our last stop is Philadelphia. It's just oh, yeah. the two. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we'll be doing that um, up until July. the end of July. And uh, and then I'm going to go see my family in Italy for a while and in Italy. <laughs> chill around oh, and, wow. and then hopefully come back and uh, do something else cool. Yeah. See, this is what's so wonderful. And of course, to think, now I had no idea that this this show will be going on. You've got the music. You've got yeah. Mr. Lumpkin, who is the, the director, director, Mr. Simons, who is your He's our set designer, your set Cliff. Designer Cliff, and your music. He, he's called Ken Clifton. Oh, he's um, called Ken Clifton. <laughs> he is our Ken Clifton. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. He's amazing. And he when you say that name, and you say Greece, and you say Brad and Richard, and all these wonderful things, we know it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Just wonderful. Well, I hope you dig it when you oh, come see it. Oh, we will dig it. And of course, <laughs> we'll be sitting right there, and I say, and I'm going to say, I know Brad, and I know Richard, and exactly. we just think you all are. Well, you great. better come say hi after the show. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, it truly is wonderful to have Such you here, a and of course, I know we always say Brad a lake but you know we don't mean it we just mean it very <laughs> I always get worried about that when it's a musical you know when we see True. somebody because it's hard it's tough isn't it oh yeah you could very well break your leg there's in this a, production <laughs> but it is and the music is wonderful we're all going to be here raving for it and of course it is Greece ladies and gentlemen ending on May the 4th and you don't want to miss it because it's something very very spectacular on the main stage at Riverside Theater and of course it's brought to you by the Wells Fargo advisors, great sponsors. There are so many people who are so dedicated to, to Riverside Theater. Again, thanks so much and break a leg. Thanks. Thank you. And everybody, <laughs> remember, it's Riverside Talk, and we'll see you next time.